Greetings and welcome to Prison Architect. All right, this is a game that has been suggested numerous times by my viewers. And now, of course, it is available on the Epic Game Store for free for the next couple of days. So I figured, you know what, why don't we take a look at it? I have done prisons before in the mobile platform. This is going to be my first one in terms of the PC one. I understand this is very popular, so I can't wait to uh, dig my hands into it as we see all the little intricacies of running a prison here. And remember, this is a for-profit thing here. Very important to remember. Why is he locked in a cage? Okay, who's running the prison? Okay, we do see the garbage collection is going very well. All right, this is a little intro thing that they're running. Okay, someone's getting last rites. That's not a good thing for them. All right, so I believe we're going to get a phone call here because I saw this and then redid it. So let's just jump into it. Oh, what is going on there? <laughs> My mouse was in a bad place. Okay, so... Um, we're going to jump in, we're going to see what this is like, and if there's interest, we'll continue. If there is interest, you know what you're going to do. You're going to give the video a like, maybe say something in the comments, and of course, subscribing is a great way to show your interest. So let's just see what the CEO has to say. Uh, this is a tough one, okay? There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who has been convicted of double murder and sentenced to death. Alrighty. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. Alrighty. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space to fit in, fit in the execution room and a holding cell. All righty. Uh, so let's get started. Construct a new building. All right. Construct a building to house the execution facility. We will also need an entrance to the new execution facility. I mean, if there's no way in, I don't think he's going to complain about it. Just saying. Uh, build a large jail door on the south wall. Okay, so it's flashing over here. Foundation. Is it foundation that I'm doing? Okay, build in brick or concrete. All right, why don't we build here? All right, so I'm guessing foundation then, like this. Okay, he called. I'm not done yet. Your workmen are responsible for the construction of buildings. They'll collect the steel and the concrete um, from this storeroom and take it to the construction site. I did say brick, didn't I? They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework for your new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around. Use the WASDA, the keys, of course, or arrow keys to move around and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. All right. Well, I think I'm supposed to put a door there, too, ain't I? Yeah, right here. All right. Where is the door? He wanted a large jail door. Okay. The They're a little bit small and hard to see. Oh, doors. No wonder it was hard to see. Okay, so there we go. Do I drag it? Okay, I'll just put it right there. $350. Wow. Okay. Expensive door. All right, so I'm guessing that I'm done here. Okay, uh, I didn't get a chance to look around yet. Can I just look around? All right. Um, the sleeping accoutrements. I can't help but notice that some of the doors are open. This fellow seems to be locked in. Okay, I'll get back to you in a minute. He's ringing right now. But uh, the thing about it is he is... Uh, okay, uh, I noticed that the uh, chief is locked in as well, as well as the foreman and the warden. I After all, these guys are dangerous. I mean, think about it. Those doors are locked, and these doors are open. Well, some of them are open. I mean, maybe there's nobody there. 
Okay, there's somebody there in these doors. Is that a closed door? Yeah, that's a closed door. Okay, that's fine. The showers. I don't want to see the showers. Well, at least not while they're being used. Okay, the yard. I mean, shouldn't there be guys out here? Okay, construct a building to house the... Okay, let's see what he has to say. Reform programs are the key to prisoners' successful reintegration into society. Some offenders will start successful new lives, whilst others will fall back into old ones and re-offend. Reformed prisoners will bring an additional cash reward, but some prisoners who re-offend could return to your prison. Not only will you incur a fine for their failed rehabilitation, but they may also have picked up additional bad habits while they were outside. So if I hold them until their term is done, they go out, they commit crimes, I can get fined for that? Okay. I don't understand that. All right, so now we have to build, okay, inside the building, I want to sell an, an execution room. Uh, partition the room by constructing some brick walls. Okay, we're doing brick walls. And here they are. All right, so obviously it wants me to do that. And it wants me to do that. And one here and one here. Okay, are they getting to work now? All right, I think that we're done. Here, can I break out of that? Okay, um... Escape? There we go. All right, there we go. Um, I, are you guys going to go up and take care of that? Are you guys going to go take care of that, right? Okay, I maybe it didn't take it? Oh, okay, no, no, I did that already. Oh, okay, hold it. Can I undo that? Yeah, undo, 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 undo. Let's see. There we go. Oh, okay, he had to come with the bricks. Wow, that guy is strong. He's got a lot of muscles on him there. Okay, oh, oh we got more guys coming with bricks. What are these guys doing? Oh, here they come. All right, why don't we speed this up a little? Because I noticed there's a little speed thing going on here, right? Okay, we could speed them up a lot more. Okay, there we go. Uh, now add large jail doors to those dividing walls. All right. Uh, you can rotate an object before placement by clicking the middle mouse or R. I guess R for rotate, right? All right, let's see. Doors... Okay, large jail doors, and we'll put this one here, and then we'll hit the R and put one there. Okay, and break. And let's go back to speeding that up. I think this is part of the campaign that teaches you the game. You can actually start your own prison from scratch once you know what you're doing, right? Okay, there's one... And there's the other one. Okay, so back to normal speed. Okay, so now what? Uh, that's looking good. Uh, we now need to designate rooms within those spaces. Alrighty. Designate a cell in the smaller room where our condemned inmate will live. For a short period of time, no doubt. Then designate the execution room itself in the larger room. All right, so this is a cell, so let's go to rooms. All right, cell, and we'll say that's a cell, and then execution. I guess we need a lot of room for executing there, right? Okay, and break, and then, oh, what? Those new rooms have requirements before they become functional. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. The execution room requires an electric chair. Okay, but would they have to build the rooms though, right? Or did I just designate it? Okay, so that's all that needs to be done there. Okay, objects. Let's start with the um, not so crazy ones here. Okay, the toilet, and then we'll put a bed. And then of course the electric chair. 
5,000. Okay. I guess the electricity is the big cost there, right? All right. And let's speed that up because they have to go uh, acquire some things here, right? I mean, who do you buy an electric chair from? Is there a company that manufactures them or something like that? Or is it a custom job? There used to be one, I forget what state it was in the U.S. It was called Old Smoky. It was named there because unfortunately, there was an unfortunate incident where you don't want to know. All right, so let's see. Uh, CEO, uh, that's the essentials taken care of, but there are still a few improvements you can make. Yeah, after all, I mean, we should make it as nice as possible for our guy for the big day, right? It's up to you, though. Uh, these aren't strictly required. It depends on how you care about your prisoners and their environment. Um, okay. What am I looking at? The cell itself could be improved with an outer-facing wall and a small bookshelf. An outward-facing wall and a small bookshelf. And the facility would look better with a higher quality wall material like wood floorboards or mosaic tiles. Uh, outside, you could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. Okay, I guess maybe a pathway from here. Okay, what? Oh, there's our guy. It's your big day coming. Uh, this is the man in question, Edward Ramsey. Uh, a teacher once, would you believe? Actually, I would. It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're here to do the job. Once you are satisfied the facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer. Simply click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate the transfer. Oh, okay. Okay, what is that priest doing anyway? All right. Very suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. All right, let's go back over here and see about these possible changes we could make. All right, let's see. It appears to be nighttime. Is that a path or is that a wall? I mean, nothing else has a path. Oh, this has a path. I mean, is that a path? All right, let's just let's look at the items one by one. Add a window to the cell. Okay, is that what it was saying? All right, so let's just take a quick look around. Objects, flooring. Is it objects? Wow, okay, a window. Well, we can add a window here if we rotate it. There we go. Um, yeah, right there is good. Okay, and what else did we have here? Um, bookshelf, right, right, a bookshelf. Uh, we can put a bookshelf like over here. I guess it doesn't matter. It's green, so it's facing the right way. So we'll put a bookshelf there. And I guess, I think he said external lights, didn't he? It, there's already a light there. All right, I think it was external lights he was talking about, right? Uh, we could put an external light there. I mean, that's the only place we really need it. All right, so we did the window, we did the bookshelf, we put an external light in there. All right, let me get back to the list here. Add a window to the cell. All right, that hasn't been done yet. All right, let's see. Redo the flooring with high-quality materials. All right, where's the flooring? Paving stone. Okay, is that on the? Uh, that's on the outside. Okay, I guess that is a path of some kind. All right, I'll wait for this fellow to pass here. All right, and here and here, and can I go here? All right, and we'll just break out of that. All right. Okay, that took care of that. Redo the flooring with, and then flooring on the inside too, right? Okay, where is, uh, back to the flooring. Paving stone. Wasn't there other stuff we could have done? Built a path. Wasn't that what I just did? All right, floor. Wasn't there like a high quality one for inside or something? Wood floor. I mean, can we do wood floors in here? I mean, we could do flooring in here. Nice wood floor, I suppose. And um, 
you could have it match this one in here. Um, this is a door. I guess we could just do that anyway too, right? All right, what would we put in here? Would it be more wood floor? Hold on a second. Paving stone, that does, that's for outside. All right, we did that already. I'm not really sure. Okay, are they working on that now? Okay, it looks like they're working on that. Um, built a path. I kind of did that, didn't I? High quality materials. I'm trying to find grass corner, sandstone. I'm trying to find something. Oh, concrete. Oh, but well, we already have concrete. Okay, it's they're working on a wooden floor here. Maybe I oh mosaic. Was that something they asked for? How about marble? We'll put marble in here. Spare no expense. All right, you know what? Let's speed it all up here and see what they're actually going to do for me. Okay, it looks like we did that. Now, build a path. I mean, didn't I just build a path here? <laughs> we put marble in the execution chamber. Wow, this is a really good floor I'm going to die on. Okay, and let's take it back. All right. A path. I mean, isn't this a path? Didn't I make this a path? I'm, I'm confused. All right, hold it a minute. Is everything... I mean, am I supposed to do dirt? Or so? It's telling me this. But I mean, I did this already, didn't I? I mean, it's flashing. I mean, they did make a path, right? Where am I supposed to make a path to? I'm confused. Because, I mean, look, I did do it. Maybe it's not wide enough. Here. Make it a little wider. Okay, get to work, guys. To the new facility. I did that, didn't I? I mean, I did make a path. Oh, it is done. Okay, I guess it had to be uh, a two by two then, right? Okay, I guess I guess there's no sense in delaying it now, is there? Um, all right, so uh, where's our friend? Okay, I'm sorry, your big day has come. Okay, it's... Um, I can't select him now. What is the problem? Okay, I have to exit out of this. Oh, too many clicks. Okay, now I can do it. All right. Um, Edward, your big day has come. The chief. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone cold killer. Guilty as charged. I thought we weren't supposed to make judgments regarding this. He even confessed. Want to hear his description of what he did? I don't want to hear it, really. It's juicy stuff. It's around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home. Okay, we don't have to hear this, you know? We don't. We really don't. Oh, okay, we're actually going to see this? I suppose. I know I could hit the skip on it, but... But, I mean, the thing about it is, if you're running a prison, then morals don't enter into the equation, right? You do what you're told. The justice system does what... Okay, what is... What's going on there? Okay, I guess that's what's going on there. Does it matter, you know... Yeah, that's, you don't do that. Yeah, that's... I mean, you had every reason to be mad, but no, that's... That's why you're going to the chair, you know? Yeah, I know. Okay, you know what? I think we've seen enough. It's like the guy said early on. We don't make moral judgments in prisons, you know? Um, let's just move on. CEO. Good work so far. Yeah, so far. We haven't finished the job, right? However, there's one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet because it doesn't have any power. You could have mentioned that, you know. By the way, we put lights up. How does it not have power? We need to connect it to the electric supply. We have lights. Okay. I mean, 
I already called him to come here, and now you're telling me about this? We are now viewing the prison in utilities mode, which shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Okay, I'd like to point out I have lights up. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. Power is provided to the prison by this substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. As you can see, the entire wing of prison cells is without power. Okay, should we be doing this? Shouldn't we have fixed this before the execution chamber? I don't... All the lights are out. I can understand the lights going out once we start, you know, the big day thing going on, you know? To fix the problem, we need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are not without power. All right. Okay, so this section is the problem. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover this wing of the prison. Okay, so we're going into utilities mode. And then we're getting electrical cable. All right, so do I just drag it? Do I drag it all the way to here? Okay, and then what? I mean, did I drag it too far? Okay, well here, hold on a second. It's telling me at the top. Uh, connect the rooms to the electrical supply. How do I do that? I mean, do I run the cables for each one? No, or is it quick connect? All right, I should run it down the entire length if I want to get them all like that. All right, and do I do quick connect? Quickly connects any surveillance or automated systems. No, that's not the right one. I'm thinking, how do I get it connected into the room? Do I just pull them into the rooms then? You know, like this? I mean, that doesn't look right because the other ones are um, different kinds of cables here. Small pipe, capacitor, power station. If I do that, are they going to put the right cables in? See, I want to see them fix that room before I go any further. Oh, 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 this is... I, I, I'm looking to see what's going on here. I'm confused. Okay, so I got the big cable. Okay, that did it. That did, Okay, actually, I didn't have to do that. They automatically connected them. Okay, all right. So I didn't have to do this one right here. All right. Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electric chair does. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. Uh, the electric chair itself is a special type of electric item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You need to connect it directly with the main cables. Okay. All right. Well, we got to go into um, utilities mode here. All right. So this one right here. All right. So I'm going to carry this one down and then pump it in here. I guess that's what I'm doing, right? All right. So we'll select this and we'll take this down to here and then into there. All right, and uh, let's just speed that up. We wouldn't want to keep Edward waiting too long, but not for nothing, you should have told me about this before I actually said, it's time, Edward, because now we're like, oh, well, wait a minute, we got to hook some power cables up now. Because, I mean, this would take a long time, and we'd have to tear up the floors inside the cell area, too, you know? Okay, we have the power. Okay, are we done? We are almost done, I think. Uh, we should test the new execution room at least once before we give it a try. Would you like to help us with that? 
It's a very comfortable seat. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds to make sure everything is okay. Well, if you're tired, you can take a load off. Maybe I'll get his job. Okay. And that shut everything down. Well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped the circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark, and this is where they all got out, right? We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Switch the power station back on by clicking on it and selecting the switch on that appears in the menu. Alrighty. Then build three more capacitors so we have enough power to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it and select switch on in the menu. All right, so we're going to switch the power on. All right, and now we're looking for capacitors. All right. Um, oh, I put them over here then, right? There we go. All right, and all right, let, let, let's speed this up so they can install them. I mean, we could have let Edward just have a little bit more time with his priest, you know, although I don't really know what that priest is up to. Okay, that's done. Oh, are they completely done, though? Okay, it says to test a chair now. All right, well, let's go test a chair. All right, so select the chair and switch it on. Switch it on. Okay, incoming. Well done. I believe we are finished with this job. Well, we're not quite finished with the job yet. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job, and that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. Are we going to have to watch it? Yeah, we're going to be watching it here, aren't we? Okay, so afterwards, he came to the priest to confess or something like that. And then the priest called the cops. I, I'm not really sure. Uh, can I help you? Dots. Okay, what is it with you in that position? I'm a little suspicious of him. Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you no matter what you've done, if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. It is time. Oh, exactly. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though the world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will have the final judgment on you. I'm guessing he'll be kind of annoyed with you, though. Just saying. Your wife and that guy will probably be a little mad, too. Okay, the slow walk begins. By the way, feel free to admire the uh, marble floor while you're there. Okay, are we going to actually watch this? I, th I think we should probably just end it there. 
I mean, is it really necessary for us to go the extra mile? I guess it is. I think it would be in good taste to just let it go at that point. Yeah, okay. He's actually wearing a black hood. Really? Okay. Edward Romsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. And I'm going to beat you with my club. That's the reason I'm holding it. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan, I'm sorry. So there is Prison Architect, at least the first scenario of the campaign. And uh, it does teach you a lot of things, the building... Uh, and, of course, the electricity and running the electricity and such like that. And, of course, you also got a look at the, uh, yeah, the, the system there. Hopefully, we're not going to do too much more of those uh, execution chambers. Let's get into the rehabilitation part because that's kind of uh, kind of more important part of it. If you want to see more, please give the video a like. Maybe say so in the comments. And, of course, subscribing is a very good thing. And if you made it this far, thank you very much. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See you.